Secretary for Works and Highways David Were said the government had requested the support of the Asian Development Bank to support the corridor between the ports of Vanimo and Wewek. The initiative is part of Connect PNG, which aims to improve connectivity and stimulate economic activity across the country. A feasibility study and detailed engineering designs are being financed by the Asian Development Bank with 100 million kina and were presented today in Port Mosby. Engineers indicated that the three projects, starting with the 413-kilometer road from the Indonesian border to Wewek and Vanimo, the Wewek and Vanimo Wharf, and 55 new bridges will cost 2 billion kina. You see the uh, high level of uh, road investigations they are doing. Uh, at some areas they are doing uh, boreholes and uh, they getting soil samples. Uh, data on the hydrology, flood levels, all these are important uh, data we need to collect. So uh, we design roads to standards that can withstand these uh, climate uh, uh, effects and uh, terrain condition issues we face on this, along these corridors. Uh. Secretary Weres said the Momasi corridor was important. This, these are these are important infrastructure we have to build for uh, growing the economy in the Pacific uh, region, especially on the border. Importantly, it's on the borders. Minister for Works and Highways Solan Mirisim said the bank is supporting the project readiness study. That's why our donors, like ADB, other donors, are putting more money for now and less cost, and we return more. They spend two billion now. When we spend less, they make five or six billion tomorrow. The construction of the Momase Corridor Road and the two wharfs is likely to commence between 2025 to 2029. Luis Mangu, National MTV News.